Well, hello there, and step on up, my friends, because we're bringing some spicy new content to you. You've had the ups and downs, and you've had cetacean observations, but now we are bringing a nice fun quiz to you. And you know what? There's a special friend of ours that's helping us. He's up there in the sky, he's all around. He has, in fact, said we can crash at his place. So head on over to the quiz continuum. Trek Culture's quiz continue, continue, continue. For you to play along, it's very simple. You can just play along at home. And what I want you to do at the end is count up how many answers you got right and pop it in the comments below. That's it. It's as simple as that. Be honest. If you got 10, brilliant. If you get one, all right. Might be time to watch a bit more Star Trek, but that's absolutely fine. Um, it's all about just having a bit of fun, folks. It's not about winning, it's not about losing, unless, of course, it's you. For the topic of our first quiz, we thought one of the most popular characters in all of Star Trek. Yes, Peanut Hamper. <laughs> Over my cold dead body. No, we are gonna go through seven of nine. I reckon you might know some stuff about her. Let's find out, and we'll get straight to the questions. We're going to start nice and simple for our first question. Number one, what was Seven of Nine's birth name? Now, we have four possible answers. We have A, Jerry Ryan. We have B, Annika Hansen. We have C, Jerry Taylor. And we have D, Lenore Caridian. Start the countdown. I... Pretty much I'm assuming everyone probably got B, Annika Hansen. Uh, well, sure, Liam Shaw definitely reminded us of that name several times in Picard season three. On to question two. What was the name of her parents' ship? Was it A, the Poe? Was it B, the Edgar? Was it C, the Raven? Or was it D, the Usher? It was, of course, C, The Raven. Uh, although any excuse just to get people reading more Edgar Allan Poe, I'm on board with. So if you picked any of them, good for you. Question three, a nice fun light topic. How old was Seven when her family was assimilated? Was she A, six years old, B, seven years old, C, eight years old, or D, nine years old? She was six years old when she was assimilated. For question four, what name did Seven's drone son pick for himself? Was it A, Hugh? Was it B, One? Was it C, Locutus? Or was it D, Steve? And of course, the answer was D, Steve. Uh, d no, that's what I would have chosen for myself. The answer is, of course, B, one. Question five. In what year did Starfleet seek to take her, Nick Locarno, Thomas Riker, and Beverly Crusher into protective custody? Was it A, 2379? Was it B, 2380? Was it C, 2381? Or was it D, 2382? The answer was C, 2381. This is when the Cerritos was tasked with finding Nick Locarno, not knowing that he was forming his own Nova fleet. For question six, we all know how whimsical Seven is. So what was the name of the character she plays in Tom Paris's Captain Proton holodeck program? Was it A, Mona Loves It? Was it B, Constance Goodhart? Was it C, Honey Bear? Or was it D, Anastasia Komonov? You have mere seconds to live. 
Constance Goodhart, B, was able to overcome Satan's robot with ease. I want her on my team. For question seven, we know Seven likes a cheeky deal when she sees one. So in the episode Infinite Regress, what was the name of the Ferengi persona that she manifests? Was it A, Daemon Tog? Was it B, Daemon Grimp? Was it C, Daemon Turret? Or was it D, Daemon Quartz? Oh look, a countdown. I know, you were all thinking, well, hang on, wasn't Tog in something else and isn't Quartz a type of stone? Um, it was C, Damon Turret, and quite frankly, he was really underbidding for the screen in the Astrometrics Lab. Number eight, on to romance. What ended Seven's date with William Chapman on the holodeck? Was it A, a Borg attack? Was it B, photonic fleas infestation? Was it C, she tore a ligament in his shoulder? Or was it D, he choked on shellfish? Go, 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 go. Well, you certainly can't say that Seven doesn't like a little bit of boogieing down because the answer was C, she tore a ligament in his shoulder. For question nine, we know that Seven and the Doctor became very close over their time together on Voyager. So what was the designation that the Doctor gave her in his holo novel, Photons Be Free? Was it A, five of six? Was it B, nine of nine? Was it C, two of three? Or was it D, three of eight? 10 seconds. Seven's family shrank a tiny little bit in this holo novel. The answer was D, three of eight. For our final question, these are the ones who really pay attention to what the EMH has to say. I've just lost half my audience. That's absolutely fine. What percentage of Borg implants was the doctor originally able to remove from Seven's physiology? Was it A, 82%? Was it B, 65%? Was it C, 93%? Or was it D, 74%? Run that clock. The doctor is pretty good at his job. I mean, it could be better. It's not the highest number, but it was A, 82%. Trek Culture's quiz continue, continue, continue. Did you have fun? That was the whole point of this, to have a little bit of silly fun. And if you enjoyed it, we're going to do a few more of these, see how they go and see what you like the most. We had obviously seven of nine to start this time. The next quiz may focus on a certain galaxy class starship, but anything else would be saying. It would be saying. If you would like to suggest a quiz as well, you have a way to do that. Reach out to us on social media and include the hashtag Trek Culture Quiz. And then you can suggest any kind of uh, quiz that you would like. Because honestly, it just had a ball doing this. This was so much fun. And it's about trying to bring a bit more smiles, a bit more laughs. And frankly, it's about getting to wear this jacket. You've no idea how long this has been sitting in my wardrobe, crying out for something like this. And uh, yeah. Yeah, this has, been, this has been a hoot, okay? So I had my fun and that's all that mattered. No, I hope you had a good time too. Let us know in the comments below if you got 10 out of 10, well done. If you got five out of 10, well done. I'm calling that a pass. It's gonna be a nice 50% pass rate for this one. If you got less than 50%, do you know what you should do when you get a chance? Watch a bit more Voyager, have a bit of fun. Uh, and of course, I guess Lower Decks and Picard come into this as well. Yes, yes, good. You're brilliant, you're awesome. Please like, share and subscribe. In fact. I often say, will you please share this one? This is a brand spanking new format. So, well, not many people are going to know it's there, but you can help us spread that word. So thank you so much for everyone who does. And sure, if you don't, I ask that you come back to the next one. This was the brainchild of at edit Chris edit Chris Thompson. Seriously, I have rarely seen him so excited about seeing a man wearing glittery clothes. Just saying, no judgment. 
You're awesome, folks. Live long and prosper, and good luck.